Welcome and welcome back to a Living Letter podcast with your host and solo comfort. This is episode 20. <laughs> Guys, we made it. Like, I made it. Like, we are here. Oh, no, thank you. Abba, thank you. Guys, like, we made it to the 20th episode of our podcast. Like, who would have thought? Who would have thought that I would be this consistent? You know what I did? I did think so. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, and thank you so much to my subscribers and YouTube, to my audio listeners, my day ones. I'm an audio listeners. If you are still listening on Spotify and the likes till today, please holla at your girl. Holla at your girl and say that we made it to episode 20. Like, if you're watching episode 20, comment down below. We made it to episode 20. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like having a cake. You know how YouTubers have a cake? But I'm not a YouTuber, I'm a podcaster. But like, I feel like having a cake, guys. Like, you know, be like episode 20, end of season one finale. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay composure composure so i decided to make this episode a get to know me q a i feel like after 20 episodes you know let's ask some although i have done q a's i think i like them but now i am going to let me move this closer because wow i don't have my glasses on and i'm viewing it from my pc Okay, so I'm gonna be like, there are questions here, like, uh, get to know me kind of questions, and I'm going to be just randomly choosing, and then I'll be answering them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, when and where were you born? I was born in Guyani, GY. Are there any of GY people? I'm from, I was born and raised in Guyani. Um, yeah, when. On the 19th of January, if you don't know by now, my birthday is, I'm a, I'm a January baby, my birthday is on the 19th. Feel free to send me gifts and stuff, I'm still 29. Okay, where did you grow up? I grew up here in, in Guyani, well, there, <laughs> I grew up in Guyani. How many pairs of shoes do you own? I don't know anymore, but there are like, now I just have favorites. Like there are like maybe two pairs of flats that I wear and like two pairs of heels that I'm constantly in. And the other ones that I've been mine, it's my sister's shoe. Um, because we all don't wear heels anymore. So they especially don't wear heels anymore. And then I have mine, the other shoe that I'm going to even wear tomorrow. <laughs> been wearing that shoe like if that shoe would break my heart i think i'm gonna buy another one of the same kind just i don't know i'll spice it up so yeah but overall i think there are more than 20 pairs actually maybe not anymore because my mom has given away a lot of my stuff um if you have those moms um, which was your favorite class in school my grade seven class and my grade 12 my grade 7 of primary that was the best year of my life okay not the one of the best years of my life i really enjoyed like my we had two classes in grade 7 i really loved everyone i felt like we were like a vibe man we got along and life spoke on that hala and i went to again high school in my grade 12 listen best class what last rap? Oh, bust. I really loved everyone. Like, we were so different. They were like almost slay queens and they were like rebels. And then they were quiet ones. And then they were troublemakers. Like, we were just so nice. Actually, the whole class of my grade 12, like, we were really, well, I got along with most people. And I really, like, I relived my grade 12. Like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, if there's a time that I could go back, I would want my classmates. And you know, it was like it was really nice. My favorite teacher in school, in primary school, it has to be teacher Kensani Klaisi. I don't know if she still goes by Klaisi, but teacher Kensani, um, 
friendships mom oh my gosh like that that woman is amazing i still love her so much i think she like when i think of high school i think of primary like her memory like um comes the most and teacher adolphine i really love that woman and yeah like most of them teacher kainisa teacher primrose oh i really love those i'm surprised like i can remember their names like from yeah, but why would I forget them? They really had a great impact on my life. I, they were kind. They were like really nice teachers. And in high school, I think my favorite was Mem Mabunda. I don't think she taught me though, but she, maybe she did. But like she was involved in like, li like she she taught life orientation. But like I just thought I'd, she would. I don't know what to call it, but like she had like acting and drama she was heading that so like most of buddies or whatever buddies that we used to go to and i really liked her i really liked i like how she was with us and because i really liked art and then she would encourage when you like, we were practicing and acting and stuff she would really encourage us i really loved that woman i saw her actually for the first time in a long time since i left high school the other day at the mall and i said hi I don't know if she still remembered me, but she she looked like she she's seen my face somewhere. <laughs> um okay, next question. Which of your parents do you resemble? <sighs> unfortunately, I resemble my dad. And I say unfortunately because <laughs> I was actually just telling to speak to the other day that it's like I really didn't like People, when people see me when I was a kid and when people see me and they say I look like my dad, they used to offend me because like, what are you saying? I look like a guy. Like, I look like a boy. In fact, I look like a man. Are you kidding me? So, but now that I'm grown, I understand that, you know what? Like, I am my father's child. There are a few people that say I look like my mom, but one of my sisters, I just don't remember who because I feel like nobody really knows who would look like more because people say different things. But I do know that I resemble my dad because that's what everyone always says. And I even behave like that. When I was young, I used to walk like him too. I don't know if I still walk like him. Um, hopefully not because I'm a girl and I'm a lady now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and like I know I behave like, like, listen, there are elements. I see my dad and I'm like, why did I have to take after that? <laughs> Or like when he does like crazy stuff like we're both like kind of clumsy i'm not anymore i refuse to be attached to clumsiness but me and my dad have broken a lot of stuff at home and me and my dad can go on a disagreement or like not even a disagreement a debate for like hours on end but we haven't done that in a long time i think we have both grown I think I'm his, I'm behaving like I'm his mate. I know, Papa. Your current favorite song? Is this another Nigerian song? This one, I don't know who's it by, but I like the rendition by Lawrence Oyo and his twin brother you thank me it, it like it makes me pray every time and it talks about prayer it makes me pray and jesso undigani by musa worship your favorite movie like i don't have favorite stuff i like i just like that stuff in a season um movie if i had to pick i would say dear john because i don't think i'll ever get tired it's the only movie that i have repeated i don't repeat movies guys i don't like repeating stuff like if i know what they're gonna say like what's the point um oh and um what's this the bridgerton series um that one the viscount who loved me like i've repeated scenes in that series like it's unlike me to repeat anything like i said but if i repeat it maybe it's my favorite like the viscount who loved me but not like <laughs> it's you know bridgerton is like sometimes you know too much but i really like the storyline so 
Favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> Anything at Woolies, every flavor. Tin roof, cookies and cream, vanilla, ice cream, yaka Woolies, top notch. And steers, actually, ice cream. My favorite flavor of ice cream is ice cream. <laughs> um, but mostly vanilla because all of those have vanilla inside and I like Magnum. Mmm. I like the white chocolate actually more than the dark chocolate. So yeah, I guess vanilla is my favorite flavor because I like plain ice cream and then the dipped one at caramel, whatever. Anyway, do I have any siblings? Yes, fortunately or unfortunately. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love them. It's like an angel. I have a video with them. It's my first, I think it's my first YouTube upload. So yeah. Go check it out, it was very nice. What are the names you would name or what would you name your children? Um, tune in to find out. Not that I'm pregnant, I'm not. But like, when I have kids, I'll let you know because... Ooh, I already, like, I already have names. I don't know if I'm the weird one in this world, but I already have names, like stack of names that... I remember I was, guys, can I tell you a quick story? When I was dating this other guy, right, this one time, and he told me that in his family, his parents named the children. Like, that's how, I don't know if it, he says it was his culture or his family, that it's only parents that name children. And, I got it, but like, I, like the names that, they're trigger kid. Anyway. Um, I was so stressed, like it was the strip. Like, we actually had a fight, like, because I'm like, ain't no way I'm gonna carry a child for nine months and have somebody name that child on my behalf. I'd rather, like, they can, I can sacrifice second name, right? Or like other names that you want to call them. You can call them whatever name that you want to call them, but like the ones that are in their ID, can I have a say, or at least let us be in agreement. There's no way that I must not be involved in the naming of my own children. I don't believe in that. Because, like, I feel like it's something that, like, we have to pray about. And, like, I don't know. Like, hi-bo. So, yeah. And, like, I like meaningful names. Me, I don't just name for the sake of naming. Well, not that I've ever named a child, but, like, yeah. <laughs> Do you have pets? Yes, we have a bully. Um... A pit bull, her name is Karen. Love her to bits. What are your favorite influencers? Um, hey, you know what, me? Like, this is a hard question because, right, I can't, I, like, I like different people for different things. And I can't say, like, you're all my all time favorite because, you know, like, maybe people think i agree with everything that that person does or like you know i'm just like oh I'm hooked on them but like i just admire that stuff that they do influencers sometimes i don't know the difference between youtubers and influencers hey <laughs> because they all end up on the other side um well most of them at least um jay booms Okay, she doesn't have YouTube, I think. She she like influences and shows and shows social media. Jay, I told you Nigerians guys, it's where it's at. Not that South Africans I don't see. But I really respect also like South African influences. But I'm not like a lifestyle content, beauty content kind of girl. And most influencers influence on that side, yeah. Bro. And I like I'm not like a vlogs person or like I will make up review and I, I don't even put on makeup that much guys so that content is like I'm not the market for that content so and influences mostly influence well the influences that I talked about are influence on the beauty side and so let me talk about YouTube SK that I really like maybe Pumili Drama I really like her content The Masters Tori and Chad, um, Izzy Nizara, um, 
I don't even know if these people call themselves influencers. But yeah, I mean, like I also really respect Tato and Betty's work. Um, yeah, I really love what he, he has done with um, the space. And podcasters, let me see your podcasters. Janine Amapola, I really like her style. And and the newborns, hey. Like I think I really love what they do. Black newborn and Lily Newborn. And the Perry's well they're a podcasters. I don't know if they're influencers, but sure. I really love them. Yeah, to name a few. Do you have a school memory? Like the one that just popped in my mind right now is how I got my nickname. Do I even want to say this nickname in high school? In high school, they used to call me Rice, right? They used to call me Rice. Used to. Warn yourself. They used to call me Rice because on in grade 8, right, there's this guy. <laughs> when we went to Ascendi, I, just, I didn't know that's what people do. So... I had this like you know I think it was my first day of my like the first week so I had like Sunday course left over and I was looking forward to having it because I don't think I ate it properly like at home so I had it for lunchbox and people were like judging me like how ah, who has Sunday course for lunch lunch now I had crazy lunch boxes guys I was that girl with like whatever Whatever I feel like, it will enter my lunchbox and I'll go with it to school. <laughs> so, um, I had, so this guy, so they stole my, like, like, these older guys came and decided to eat my rice and they put spit in my juice, guys. Like, it was a transparent bottle. So when I went, I came back to class and I'm like, oh my God, where's my rice? La rice and me, la rice and me, la rice and me. I was very upset. I didn't cry, but I was just like talking about my rice the whole time until was it Zippo? I don't know who called me rice, but it stuck for like that year. I was called rice. And there are, you know, those people that well not anymore actually. I has been called rice in a while. But yeah, they called me rice because of that. <laughs> okay, moving along. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Um, okay, the CBCs, like, I'm not a fan of DSTV, um, I really, like, I'm on TV, and, oh, you know how CBCs, like, you watch them and the season ends and then you wait, like, for a year or something like that <laughs> for them to come back, but the ones that I really enjoy is SWAT, um, Chicago Fire, Grey's Anatomy, um, What else there's another one on the good doctor and what else on netflix i used to watch love is blind but I only watched like two seasons and then i don't know i just didn't like it anymore and i really liked hudson and rex but I don't know. At some point, I did watch Chicago PD. I used to really like it. And Boma NCIS, NCIS, everything. Uh, how many languages do you speak? Shizonga, English, a bit of Afrikaans, a bit of Sutu, a bit of Zulu, a bit of Tosa, a bit of Tswana, a bit of Bedi. The only language that I don't hear or understand it fully is is Debele, but I think all of South African languages I can pretty much res hear you and respond, can have gen like a conversation, but I won't know everything. But I, I really do try. Like, I, I'm not like I, I like learning languages, and when I watch TV, I, I actually used to watch it to learn languages. So, there are some a bit of Spanish words that I know. So, and because I've been listening to Nigerian people, I know some Igbo words and Hausa words because I listen to some of those songs. So yeah, what is the most important thing in life for you? God, 
a relationship with him and purpose and people <laughs> yeah i really love love i love god i love god i love people and i love kingdom and everything that is attached to that um my first language is shizonga have you ever been out of your country well technically i have because i've been to the portuguese island in mozambique i just didn't get off but i was there in the water close to the shore <laughs> let me answer the last two what is the first thing you notice about people this is interesting i'm very observant so like whatever will stand out to me about you i will notice it but maybe i noticed a person's um character or their mannerism or like their mood yeah i think i like note like being aware of a person's mannerism and their character and their mood yeah i like when I see you, like I like deducing, I like, you know, I don't know how to call it, but I think that's the one of the first thing I noticed, like how this person carries themselves and which shows me like part of their character, if it's not the whole thing, and the kind of mood that they're in. Because, um, you know, I enjoy conversation, so and I like reading. My sister's, like the only... A room that I don't read is when I'm at home but everywhere else I'm pretty good at doing that do you evaluate yourself as sarcastic I can be but if I'm around a sarcastic person I can get sarcastic but like Gemini out of the blue like with sarcasm my sister is very good at that all the time like for no reason unprovoked that like girl what is your idea of a perfect date <laughs> wouldn't you like to know um a thoughtful one like my perfect date is a thoughtful date like let if somebody has done something that they know that i would like that they like they've noticed something about me and they've cut or like even just asked me or they have noticed something about me yeah i have went to pretty awesome dates i must say um yeah so if you study me you will it be okay do i have any bad habits <clears throat> bad habit bad habit bad habit bad habit procrastination perhaps i used to really struggle with procrastination but i think i'm getting the hang of it because i'm actually realizing that it wasn't it was the procrastination was must under i just realized now that you know it it falls under like what adhd adhd people have like the thing of you know when i'm going to do something and then i when i get there i see something and then i do something else and then when i get there i see something else and then i do something else midway and then i remember oh this is what i was doing at first and then i like and then i end up like starting things and not finishing them so i'm getting the hang of it now i'm having like a routine um just that now i was busy up and down so yeah i'm having a routine i've written down a routine that i want to you know when yeah to follow and make sure that i get to write the to-do list not even a, yeah a routine and a to-do list so yeah let me see if there's any interesting one. Do you avoid conflict or face it? <laughs> I regard myself as confrontational, but only when I need to. I, I really I really don't like misunderstandings. And I yeah, like I'd I'd rather I'd rather like let, let's talk about what is it that is bothering you other than because the opposite of that is to like ignore it and then have an attitude and i don't like that i don't i don't like when people give me attitude or when like somebody reacts in a way and i don't know like what that's wrong with them 
so i'd rather like confront and be like hey so this happened and because i feel like everybody's a sensible human being that can communicate well not all everyone they may not lie but if i see when i engage that because like i'm not gonna fight a person if i see when i engage that okay this person's not a good space it's not a good time then i will just like shout and if I really value the relationship, obviously, like, I will make sure to be like, hey, you know. And, like, I, I, I also don't like confronting about every, every little thing. Like, some things, like, I have the ability to let things slide if I can. So, when I confront you, it's because, yeah, no, you know, my passes have run out. And I really feel like it's now affecting me whatever the person is doing or how they're behaving towards me or like if if it's affecting something that is around us so i will yeah um yeah i think that is it yeah because it's gonna get long i'm gonna do it maybe another time maybe when we do the end of season two i'm gonna take a break y'all um i don't know yet for how long maybe like three weeks um to recuperate and then come back better you know better than ever to just seek the lord again about season two like the direction that he wants the podcast to go and yeah so far guys i started this in november and i was so nervous and now to see like the end of season one like for me to reach the mark that i had set for myself and so i really appreciate it and I believe that it has served the purpose that God wanted it to serve. Um, yeah, it has definitely had an impact on me recording these videos and um, podcasts, but like audios and, and the likes. And I'm really appreciative of God and His Spirit for helping me. So, yeah. Thank you so much for riding with me, y'all. If you've made it till the end of season one, one comment down below and let me know that i'm a real one you're a real one hey letters <laughs> i love you so much guys and i'm very very grateful that you took your time out to listen to me week in week out enjoy your day or night whatever's going on with you guys i love you